Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I have just a quick little unboxing uh, and this may get combined with some other things I don't know yet um, but I had these and I want to get them open because I can't wait to test them out. So what I have are two packages. These are from two different uh, Etsy shops. You can see this one is from Everlasting Tips and that's located in Australia. This one is from Drill, Print, Drill Pin Frenzy, if I can talk, which is in Oregon. So I want to unbox both of them. These I'm going to unbox first just because there were some issues getting them. So I've been looking forward to them for quite some time. Now these are just barrels. Let me pull everything out here and see because um, I don't know what has okay so I don't need that package anymore came in this lovely little envelope so that nothing would get lost and these are um, everlasting tips as I mentioned who there's a lot of stuff in here okay one second while I separate out all these papers because as expected, some of them have my address on them and I don't need to be flashing that to everyone. So uh, it comes with these, this lovely sheet of paper, Everlasting Tips, Stainless Steel Drill Pin Tips and Multiplacers. I ordered the um, four pack of tips. So you can see here, oh, they're kind of tiny and two of them are stuck together. Um, there's four of them in there, so you can see those. Um, these are just kind of replacement barrels that will fit in any pen tip. So even in like your standard pen, they should fit in there. So we'll see how that works. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how how well these work. I am a very hard presser when it comes to uh, diamond painting, so I'm really curious to see how those go. So she gives you instructions on how to change them. Pull out the brass tip and pop in the stainless ones. Um, if your plastic end is a bit loose, you can boil your plastic to try and reset it, pop it in. I would probably just use washi tape or something. Um, Push them in on a cutting board or a notepad. Please don't push it in on a table or any hard surface. Um, don't use pliers because you might squish the end of the tips. You can see there. Um, don't don't hold on to them at the end. Just be careful. Um, says when removing removing old wax, don't use scissors or tweezers. Use a toothpick or something similar. I'll have to remember that because I'm really bad about just. Um, getting my tweezers out to dig all my wax out. So that's cool. Um, I didn't purchase any multi-placers from her, but I'm really looking forward to these. Oh, and I didn't show you the cute other things. If you're interested, I'll put a link down in the description below so that you can check out her um, Etsy shop, but it's just called Everlasting Tips. And there's a nice little card and some cute unicorn stickers. Ooh, stickers are always good. So there is my stainless steel tips. So I will be um, getting those uh, in my pins so I can work with them. And on to the second package. This is again from, oh, maybe I don't need scissors for these. Drill print, oh my goodness. I couldn't have named my store that because I can't say it. Drill Pin Frenzy. And let's see what's in here. Oh, what a cute little diamond sticker. That's going to go on my um, table with all my other stickers. That's so cute. Okay. That is a sticker that has my order on it. So that's all that was in the bag, except for my lovely little tips. Now, when I bought the Everlasting Tips, I knew, but hadn't really thought about the fact that they're just barrel replacements. 
these are actual complete tips with the little um, rubber grips to help hold them in place. So I bought a single placer and a two placer, which I've never used before. So I'm curious to try it out and see how it works. So here's their little diamond painting by Donnie. Oh, is Drop in Frenzy. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So these are pretty cool. Oh, I should have told you how much they were. When I ordered these, they were on sale. So this package of four cost me, I think, $25 or something by the time I added it on, um, added on shipping and everything. So something like that. Um, and it is, she is in Australia, so don't forget there will be um, exchange rates if you're in the U.S. because it's in Australian dollars for her. So I got this for, uh, I want to say roughly $25, 25 to $30. I don't remember exactly. Somewhere in there. Some of that is shipping. This one, they included my invoice, so let me look at it and see. Um, oh, it doesn't say how much. Uh, if I remember, I will try and add it into the video or I'll put a, and I'll put a link to their shop in the description below. I want to say um, the single placer was like $10 and the, the two placer, goodness, my brain has gone. Um, the two placer was probably around 20 because I think my whole order was $35 and that includes, I think, around $5 for shipping. So something like that. But hopefully they will last me a very, very long time because as I said, I am a hard placer. And so I want to try these out. If they work as well as I think I, they will, then I will definitely be ordering more. So uh, those are my steel tips. Okay, fellow addicts, I am here just to kind of give you a quick update on my everlasting tips. I finally received my everlasting tips and there was an issue with the mailing. However, the, the owner of the store was really easy to work with. She apologized for the delay and sent me a new package. And then it had taken about three months but she sent me the new package. I got it fairly quickly. And then just a couple of days later, the second package arrived. So I don't know where the first one got lost in the mail, but it did finally arrive. Anyway, I had my husband pull out the old barrel of my pin and you can see the brass barrel here. They're stuck together and I can't get them apart in the package, but anyway. And then you see the three new steel tips. I have a new steel tip, everlasting tip in my pen and I was a little concerned because when we first slipped it in, it seemed to be a little bit loose. However, um, I just kind of pushed it in there and it does say in the instructions, don't push it, the tip against a hard surface like a table or something, use like a towel or something. Um, I just used my own arm, <laughs> which I figured had enough give. Um, and then it did set overnight. So I don't know if that before I used it. So I don't know if that gave it enough time for the plastic to kind of, I don't know, shrink a little bit or whatever, but it seems to fit plenty tight. I have loaded my glue dot in it. And this actually seems to be a bit longer of a barrel. Let me see if you can See, if you put them side by side, it's actually a little bit longer of a barrel than the original brass tips, which I like because that means I could load my whole, the glue dots that I use are the mini, not the micro. And sometimes I have to cut them because it, with the brass tips, they would kind of hang over the edge. This one, the entire glue dot fits down in there and it works. I was a little afraid because the glue dot can be so sticky that I would pull the, the tip out of the pen because it didn't fit quite perfectly, but I have not had that issue at all. It works just fine and I am loving it so far.
I am going to keep both packages that she sent me. So I have, will have eight of these stainless steel everlasting tips and I'm curious to see how they hold up, but so far I'm loving them. And actually, in addition to fitting my whole glue dot, because the barrel is a bit longer, it feels a bit different than the other pins because I don't know, you just, you, your muscle memory gets used to that length and it's just a little bit longer. So it felt a little bit weird at first, but as I've gotten used to it, I really like it. So I've been really happy with these. Um, we'll see if that changes as I use them, but for now, really happy, happy enough that I'm going to keep the second package um, and pay for it. I'm not getting them for free. Um, so really happy with these so far. I'm going to test these out hopefully with my rulers that I got and we'll see how they go. So. These are my new fancy schmancy diamond painting pins that I ordered from France. They finally arrived. So let's dig in. I am going to share their card because I have no idea how to pronounce their name. So there is their name. They have an Etsy shop. You can find them on Facebook and on Instagram. And I really liked this shop because they have options. You can pick the profile of your pin, so you can decide what you want it to look like, and you can also pick the blank for your pin. So you can pick the color, the mixture of colors, all of that, and um, make the, the pins really, really personalized, which I like. So I will put a link in the description below to their Etsy shop in case you want to um, get pins from them. I think that's all that's in there. Yep, it's just their lovely little card, which I will put here, and then the two pins, which come in these cute little bags. So honestly, it's, I don't remember what I ordered, so let's just see. Ooh. Okay, so it comes with the single placer tip, and that looks like, a four or five placer? It's a four placer, it's got a four on it, okay. Wow, look at that, that is super cool. And I picked the profile for this, so um, when you go to their store, they have a section where you can pick and they have everything labeled. So you pick the style of pin, which I think is the letters, and then the, the profile of it, what, what it's, the bumps and everything are gonna look like. And then you can pick in a, a separate option is the the blanks of what it's going to look like. I'm that's so cool. I love the marbling of this. And these have like I think a, a letter and then a, a number behind it. So there's like different sections. Like D section has this many blanks, and you can pick from the number of there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that one I'm super duper cool in love with and here is the second one. Oh, if I can get it out open 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 oh wow okay so for this one I went for a chunkier pen as you can see so you can see the profiles of these are completely different this one is fat with just a couple of knobs and this one is a little skinnier with more detail in the profile um, this one also has a four placer and a single placer tip, although I will say this one doesn't look like it traveled well. It's got like a little nick out of it or something. I might just have to sand that down or just replace it with a different tip. I can do that too. So, um, wow. Yeah, I can't wait. I honestly, when I first started diamond painting, I thought, why would I buy all of these pens? Ugh. I'm a pen addict now as well as a diamond painting addict. So there are my two pens and I think I paid in total for both of them, including shipping $35. So they are a little pricey, but they're coming all the way from France. And I really liked the fact that this shop gave me so many options that I could pick the profile of it as well as the kind of blank that I wanted. Um, and also, they seem to have a pretty good stock. 
well, I guess I shouldn't say that. I get frustrated sometimes, not just with pin companies, but with diamond painting companies where things are constantly out of stock. Like, I just find it frustrating. And I, I get that a lot of these are small businesses and they only make so many, um, and they like that they sell out. And, and that's cool, you know, run your business how you want. But as a consumer, I want to go in and look at it. And when you're showing it to me, I want to know, okay, and get it right then. So having to wait for people to drop stuff in their stores and things like that is kind of irritating to me. I mean, I've done it, but it's not my favorite. I'd much rather just go in and be like, okay, I'm going to order these and have them say, okay, we've got a custom make it for you. So it's going to take a bit. Okay, cool. But it's going to get made and it's on the way. Somehow that makes me feel better than having to wait for it to just randomly drop and then I'm fighting for everybody else who's shopping at the same time trying to buy the same thing. So I liked them and these are super cool. I actually can't wait to get started. I bought this one because I thought it would go well with my Diana canvas, but I couldn't wait to get started on my Diana. So, And I may switch out these brass tips for my steel everlasting tips that I have. Um, just because I like that better. So, so there you have it, my pins from France. If you're interested, again, I'll put the link down in the description below so you can check them out. If you like this video, don't forget to do the things, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.